good day, beautiful black people. This is Major, and you're tuning in with Major TV. Let's talk. I have some great news to bring before you. Um, the governor just signed, the governor of California, to be correct, Governor Gavin Newsom just signed the legislation authorizing the county to transfer property to Willa and Charles Bruce's descendant regarding a beach that they bought in the 1920s. Let me read briefly what the article is saying. Almost 100 years ago, a California beachfront probably was seized from a black couple. On Thursday, Governor Gavin Newsom signed legislation authorizing the county to begin transferring the property to Willa and Charles Bruce's descendants, the governor's office announced. As we move to remedy this nearly century-old injustice, California takes another step further in our commitment to making California dream a reality for community that was shamelessly, shamefully shut out by history of race exclusion. Racist exclusion, this was said. We know our work is just beginning to make a man's foul pass. In California, we're not shy from confronting structural racism and bias that people of color face to this day. The Bruce's bought the Manhattan Beach property, now known as Bruce Beach in 1912, I said 1912, I'm sorry, in 1912, and turned it into a popular resort for black descendants. They were, they were among the city's first black landowners. I can't say enough, my people. This is big. Whether Governor Newsom is trying to make amends for, for his political um, issues prior to him on winning his seat back as governor and um, the thing that he was saying because they had him all over me like scandalize his name about some things right I knew a little about it because I checked it out and I listened to it you know and because of this guy I won't call his name black guy who was a Republican who made a fool of himself talking crazy and whatnot, made it easy for the governor to win Look, this could set president for a bunch of cases, then reparations locally, like in local towns and cities. Um, we know about the red line, and we know what they did um, in Oklahoma, in a lot of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and in the Black Wall Street, in a lot of black neighborhoods that were striving. They felt threatened. They didn't feel like blacks should have what they have. So much land, so much property, so much money has been stolen from us. I just wanted a person to do a quick audio about it before I share on um, the video and whatnot, but it should be viral right now what's going on. But this is definitely motivation. We got to keep um, our foot on a pedal. We got to keep excelling, accelerating. We got to keep pushing. We got to stay aggressive. And we have to stop being negative. We have to start counting things out. We got to stop thinking one side about how to win. We got to try to go from every angle. Long as it's about progression, long as it's about positive progress, long as it's about the moving and helping the people, that's all what should matter. So let's just go check this video out. This is very deep, y'all. Peace. Actually, the city of Manhattan Beach seized the property in 1924 using eminent domain. They claimed it was to build a park. The law was used to steal this property a hundred years ago and the law today will give it back. The yeah, other big story at three o'clock after nearly a century, California making amends for a well-known part of its racist past. Governor Newsom signed a law allowing the transfer of Bruce's Beach. And that property will go to the heirs of the black couple who built it. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Grandes joins us live from Manhattan Beach with more. Carlos. Well, that's right. A few hours ago, Governor Gavin Newsom did sign the bill that could allow ownership of this beach to be transferred to the Bruce family. The land was taken away from them back in 1924. Now, the family bought it in the early part of the 20th century for about $1,200. Now it could be worth $75 million. A beautiful sunny day for being at the beach. It's also a day of change that took almost 100 years. This is, represents a change in thinking, a whole new way of doing things, and a, whole, a much better example for our children going forward. Today, the governor signed the bill that allows Los Angeles County to begin the process to return Bruce's Beach to the families of its original owners. To be here 
not just for the descendants of the Bruce family, but for all of those families torn asunder yes. because yes. of racism. Gotcha. Bruce's Beach belonged to Willa and Charles Bruce. They bought it in 1912 and built a resort catering to black residents. It became a target, however. The Bruce's and their customers were harassed and threatened by white neighbors, including the KKK. State Senator Steve Bradford, who authored the bill, talked about what the Bruce family went through. And despite all the racial taunts to KKK, the harassment, the burning of their facilities, the taunting and the harassment of their guests, they survived and flourished for 12 years. Major TV, and this is brought to you by Major. Like and subscribe to get your notifications. Couldn't do it without you, need your full participation. And we give it back to the show. Appreciation. Tune in.